Hi sweet friend, welcome to another tutorial. In this video we'll be painting a watercolor popsicle which is also another chapter in my book called Watercolor Snacks. I'll link to it in the description below. So to get started I am adding a thin layer of water. So we'll be using the wet on wet technique first and then I'm dropping in some golden deep um, just in kind of a few random spots and then immediately I clean off the brush and I follow that with some quinacridone red kind of just spreading out um, the colors inside and helping them mingle with each other allow that whole area to dry before proceeding to the next step and now with a clean and damp brush pen, I'm lifting off the areas where the ridges on the popsicle are located. So it's essentially those two parallel lines that you see. And every time I'm lifting off a little bit of color, I'm cleaning that off on the towel so as to not introduce that back into our sketch. For the next step, I mixed in the colors that I used, the Golden Deep and Quinacridone Red and diluted that mixture with just a little bit of water and now I'm painting a second layer on top of the popsicles but I'm only painting um, kind of the areas around the two ridges so I'm leaving those intact so that they really stand out inside of the popsicle shape. The color that I mixed was slightly lighter in value than I liked. I actually am going back in and adding another layer of color just so that it's super vibrant and happy looking. And then with a clean brush, I'm also um, softening those edges on, on those lines that you see around the ridges just so that the transition is fairly smooth and there's no harsh lines. Finally, I'm using a little bit of yellow ochre to paint the popsicle stick and you'll notice that I'm uh, kind of mindful I'm leaving a little bit of a highlight on the left hand side and then adding um, a lot more color on the right hand side. And again, as uh, you're noticing, you know, after your sketch has dried, if some areas seem to be a little bit lighter because watercolor will dry that way, you know, it'll be a shade lighter than what you see when it's wet. Um, feel free to uh, add a couple more layers just to punch up the colors and make sure it's um, of a vibrancy that you prefer. Thank you so much for watching, sweet friend. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my book called Watercolor Snacks. I'll link to it in the description below. Until next time, stay creative.